Yo, what's up everybody, Fornitron here, and today we are back again with our Elden Ring Easy Mode Beginner's Guide Remastered, which includes the brand new Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. In the previous episode, we took on the Fellowship and we completely dunked on Leda and Dryleaf Dane, and we used Onsbok and Tullier to just wreck that crew, and now we are right in front of the final boss of the DLC. So let's get into it. Okay, so in pure debate fashion, we're not gonna go straight to the boss. We're actually gonna clean up and we're gonna get the remaining shadow tree fragments and uh, revered spirit ash fragments that we have yet to get. So let's do that right now. So I'm gonna go to uh, the two that are in inner Elum. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to the first rise. Okay, and then from here, we're just gonna run outside this door. And we're actually gonna fall through these cracks that are right here, and there's a stupid mosquito that I think is like right around here somewhere. So just be ready for that thing to jump out at you. Okay. He's right back there. Okay. God, I love the chicken wing. Dude, the, the fucking chicken wing just rules. Okay, here we go. Here's two revered spirit ash. So now we're gonna go to the spiral rise. This one's a little bit more tricky. Uh, it's a lot of uh, platforming. So we're just gonna run behind us here. We're gonna exit. This is where those dudes who summon this stupid magic spell are. But that's where we came from. We're gonna go left instead over here. Run down here, go in this doorway. And then I think, yes. So we're gonna run and jump onto that staircase right there. So run and jump. Good stuff. Go over here. And we're gonna drop down off this edge here. So just walk off the edge. Drop down, walk off this edge, drop down. We're gonna run over here. You could stop and save scum at any time if you suck at platforming. Um, if you did not grow up in the 90s and you did not play <laughs> fucking Mario or Donkey Kong Country, then you might wanna save scum every chance you get. Like I would save scum at every ledge. Uh, but okay, so we're gonna get to like this square ledge here where this break is, and we're just gonna walk off the edge here. Boom, okay. And then now we're gonna be running and jumping. Make sure you hold down the run button. And then we're gonna run over here to this ledge. Boom. You go over here, go right. Here you can just drop down. Nice. Sorry, brah. Oh, yeah. Th thanks for the somber five, <laughs> Miyazaki. Thank you so much. I was really itching for a somber five there. Here, I would save scum. So save scum right here. The reason why is we're gonna run and jump into that uh, window there. Um, I have faith in you. Just run and jump. Boom. Ballarat Tower Settlement. Okay, there is going to be a scorpion bro out here. So let's just walk out, buff up, give him some charge R2 chicken wing, and you're fucking dead. Boom. Pick this up. All right, now we're gonna get some of the other ones. So we're gonna go to the Rao Ancient Ruins West, this one right here. I'm giving it some Tang, Rao, or is it Rao? I don't know. Okay, so from here, we're just gonna hop on Torrent. We're gonna go up here, dodge these stupid fireballs. Fuck your house. Go up here, go to the right. And then we're gonna go for this open area over here. And now we're gonna hug the left because we don't wanna fuck with these dudes. 
And normally we would go in under here, but we're actually going to go over this way. Go down these steps. Go down these steps. Okay, you're going to go left. And right where this enemy is, we are going to run over here. Go through here and then just go over here and then drop down. All right. Make your way down to this elevator. And the pot dude's gonna be right ahead of us. The so buff up, right there, boom. Hey, what's up, idiot? You're dead. <laughs> okay, let's kill these fools. All right, here is another revered spear dash. Okay. Oh, forgot this guy's right here. Okay, from here, now we're going to go to the Abyssal Woods. So this uh, side of grace right here, Abyssal Woods. Okay, and from here, we're going to slightly turn to the right over here. And we're just going to run straight. There's a big rat over there. Couple some chicken wing. Oh, you're dead. Who likes chicken? I think you do. KFC is open, baby. Here you go. One wing combo. <laughs> Have all the dip you want. Dip is free. Dip is always free. <laughs> <laughs> Such disrespect. Okay, let's run over here. A bunch of these dudes. You can kill them if you want. I guess why not? I think they only take one jump R2. Dude, this weapon is just too good. And you're murdered. Those guys have a chance to drop like that beefed up golden foul foot, but if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. We're gonna go over here. Another shadow tree fragment. Okay, now we're gonna go to this side of grace right here, uh, the recluses river downstream. Okay, and from here, we're just gonna jump on torrent. I'm just gonna run off a, a bunch of these ledges. So just run, drop down. Just dodge all these fools. We're gonna drop down here. I mean, one of those horn dudes to the left of us, just ignore them. Run over here, go right where we went left instead a while back. And then run all the way up here to the village of flies. Jump. Another revered spear dash. I would just quit your game out right here. Okay, now that we're back, we are gonna now go to over here. So through this canyon, we got this side of grace right here, the Temple Town Ruins. And we're going to be going a bit over. I think it's going to be like right around here. But Temple Town Ruins. All right, jump on Torrent. It's going to be behind us. Let's see if I place the marker exactly where we need to go. So I'm not going to lie, I've never, in my multiple playthroughs of the DLC, I have not been at plus 20 Shadow Tree Fragment or plus 10 Revered Spirit Ash. So I'm excited to do this with you guys. All right, go over here. I was right. Another Revered Spirit Ash. Just duck down so we can get out of aggro. Okay, and then from here, we are going to go to way over here. So the three path cross and we're actually like staring right at it. It's going to be right here. So we're going to go to the three path cross right near the beginning of the DLC. All right, turn around. It's over here.
Okay, grab this side of grace right here. Okay, and there's a bunch of those bullshit fly enemies, so we're going to avoid all of them. So we're going to hug the edge over here. Just jump up, jump up. And then over here is our next, I think it's another revered spirit ash. Nice. All right, and let's just get the hell out of here. See you later, suckers. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right, let's go back and it's gonna be the divine gate front staircase. All right, now check this out. Boom, plus 20 scatter tree for uh, shadow tree blessing. I keep calling it scatter tree. Uh, so that's maximum and then boom and boom. Plus 10 revered spirit ash and that's the maximum for revered spirit ash. So we are completely maxed out in all of the shadow tree fragments, all the revered spirit ashes. We have defeated all of the remembrance bosses. Um, there's a ton of little um, ever jail uh, bosses that you could do. And you do uh, maybe you've done that in your free time. But we've done all the main content in the DLC, and now we're ready to take on the final boss, which has been crowned as the new hardest boss in all of gaming. Uh, so let's save scum right here. Okay, so now that you save scum, here's the play. I think what we should do is we should just go into the boss arena, and then you can watch the cutscene, and then I would just quit out right away because the way after the cutscene, when you first watch it, it spawns you in the middle of the arena. So um, I don't know. I just quit out, and then when we go in, uh, we don't have to watch that cutscene again, and then we'll be right by the door, and then our two helpers will be able to walk in, and we'll have time to summon our Mimic tier and stuff. So I think that's the way to go. So also make sure that you got all your right talismans equipped, and then I also put this on the hotbar, the Mikla's Great Rune. I'll show you why in a bit, but just make sure that is in your hotbar. So your healing, uh, your raw meat dumpling for your Mimic tier, and then Mikla's Great Rune. Um, so let's let her rip. So we're just going to walk in and quit out. All right. So I think we've shown that summoning in Tolier and Onsbach, I did them backwards, Tolier and Onsbach just adds way too much health to this final boss. So what we're going to do, we're going to buff up. We're just going to go in there, do work on our own and summon in our mimic tier as soon as possible. Hopefully we get a window right off the rip to be able to do that but sometimes he doesn't. All right, we got good RNG. All right, come at us, bitch. Oh. I was not expecting that. Panic roll. All right, let's... Nice. All right, let's get him again. Awesome. Oh, he loves the chicken wing. That is insanity. That is ins pure insanity damage. Okay, so this can happen, and don't worry, uh, but that's why we equipped Mikla's Great Rune. So just use that shit right away. And then that way, if you get caught by that, you won't die. Okay, run away. Okay, run towards a corner. Because he's going... He's going ham. I 
I was not expecting to get hit that many times by that shit, but you're dead. Hardest boss in all of gaming, everybody. And he gets the dip. Of course he gets free dip. Remembrance of a God in the Lord. That was pretty smooth. We got a pretty good RNG there. So like the chicken wing just rocks because it just built up so much posture damage. And then we lucked out that we got a bleed proc that moved him into phase two. And then right after it, before he does like that huge holy explosion, um, we do another charge R2 to break posture, get the repost, and then get a few more charged R2s. And then, yeah, Mimic here just fucking came in clutch and helped do a bunch of work. But yeah, that was the final boss. Uh, let's pick up a few of these items here. Let us go together, which is if you die from that, uh, getting picked up twice and you don't use Mikla's great rune, uh, you will do that gesture and you'll die pretty much. So let's change that out. And I'll show you what it looks like. So it's basically you giving up your heart to Mikola and you just die, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, cool stuff. But that was the hardest boss in all of gaming. So congratulations if you made it this far. Let's reward ourselves by touching this memory. Okay. The circlet of light. That's Mikola's crown. Um, another thing too, before we touch on what just happened there, let's uh, have a sit. And then look who's over here. Pillier's dead body. And get all his gear. And Onsbok's dead body. They die no matter what. Even if you summon them in for the fight and then you beat Radon, um, they just, they die afterwards. Okay, so you're probably wondering what the hell just happened. So there's some crazy, crazy shit going on. Um, I wonder if it even tells you in the Great Rune. So if we look at uh, the Remembrance, Remembrance of Radon, Consort of Mikola, hewn into the scattered Shadow Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. In their childhood, Mikola saw in Radon a lord, his strength and his kindness that stood in stark contrast with their afflicted selves. And so Mikola made his heartfelt wish that Radon would that Radon would one day be his king consort. Um a lot of people are like, what the hell? Like they're brothers, like that's weird. Um so King Consort doesn't necessarily mean like a sexual relationship or like uh, like that type of relationship. It also could just mean like a chosen champion to be like your King Consort because you gotta remember too, Mikola was forever cursed to be in a child's body. So they're essentially like, they are forever a child. So I don't even think they have those types of desires i don't know but i don't want to get too much into that so even when uh moog wanted to be mikola's consort uh and then having radon as their consort it's not like a sexual relationship it's just like mikola is always a child and he looks up to even though he's older than radon uh he looks up to or is he old no he's younger than radon so he looks up to his older brother and he just thinks he's so cool and uh, Godwin is dead and can never be brought back. And Mikola already painstakingly went through all the effort to try to bring Godwin back, but he couldn't. So who's his next favorite? Radon. And he was like, oh, Radon's so cool. I want him to be my king consort when I become a god. Because Mikola kind of always knew that they would one day uh, take America's place and become the next uh, Empyrean God in the lands between. So that's kind of what that was. Here's a huge reveal to the story though. So let's go back to round table hold. And with the remembrance. You've done it. I what do you I am a do as you know you. You'd Okay. And we're going to look at 
just anything from the young lion's helm so uh you could get old radon's armor and then young lions which is uh prime radon or like peak radon before the scarlet rot but check this out when we look at the description here the golden armor worn by Radon in his younger years, proudly adorned with the heroic red accents, it is fitting attire for a lion. When Melania, Blade of Mikola, let the rot flower blossom in Aeonia, Radon heard a murmur in his ear. Mikola awaits the O Promise Consort. So if you're like, what is going on? So in the initial teaser trailer, when Melania and Radon are fighting and Melania like stabs Radon in like the shoulder and is like whispering something in his ear, that's what she's saying to him. She's saying, Mikola awaits the O Promise Consort. So here's where it gets into speculation. I think that Radon was never able to be succumbed to Mikola's spell. So Mikola can control people by making them fall in love with him. Radon did not fall for that spell, but Mikola still wanted Radon as his chosen consort. So the only way to get Radon to be his consort he had to essentially kill Radon and then resurrect him uh, so he could kind of control him. And I also kind of feel like Mikla or Melania was under Mikla's control as well, because why else would she like go fight one of her family members uh, for Mikla? So I don't know. There's a whole thing there. But yeah, because Mikla knew to get to Inner Elam, uh, they had to go to the Land of Shadow. The only way to go to the Land of Shadow was through Moog. So they had to get Moog to like take uh to like take them from the Halig tree. And they knew that they needed Moog's body to resurrect Radon. And that's where you come in. So you were all kind of destined to cross paths. So this game is just fucking insane. Like the whole thing is just nuts. I love it, love it, love it. Um, but that was the DLC people. Like that, that was it. Like there's only a couple of things that we need to wrap up. I'm sorry, this is a longer episode. We're gonna do two things. So one thing that I forgot in the last episode is we're gonna go to this spot right here, the foot of the Jagged Peak, and we're gonna go to where Egon is. Take that off. This is where we fought those two dragons. And look where he is. He's dead. We get all his stuff. He died a happy death because we killed Bale. So that's Egon stuff. And then the last thing we need to do, we're going to go to where St. Trina is. All right, let's run down here. And you're going to notice St. Trina is now dead. Obviously, right? Because St. Trina and Mikola were... They're, they were one person. They were kind of separated. They're kind of like what Merica and Radagon are. So you can't have one without the other. So we killed Mikola. St. Trina's dead. And you get St. Trina's Blossom, which is like a, a little hair piece. But let's get a good look. Yeah, well, there she is. She's dead. But she's happy because we saved Mikola from becoming a god and imprisoning themselves in that duty. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's a good place to end it. So we have completed the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. You have defeated the hardest boss in all of gaming. Uh, congratulations. This DLC is incredible. Like, leave it up to From Software to basically make Elden Ring 2 and then call it a DLC. Like, this is pure insanity. Like, there are full games that they charge 70 USD for that do not have as many new enemies, as many bosses, as many items as this DLC has. So it is just incredible. It adds so much to the story. I love the atmosphere. It is just 
unbelievably insane. I really hope that you enjoyed going through the DLC and I hope this added a lot more context to some of the story in Elden Ring. But yeah, I love every single minute of it and I'm happy to go through it again with you. But uh, we still have the rest of the game to go through, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Ooh.